everyone, it's Lisa. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to be making some fall cards using Spellbinder's Happy Harvest Collection by Nicole Spore. And there are three die sets in this collection and one stamp set. And this is what the collection looks like. You can see the dies and the stamps on the right and some inspiration cards on the left. So at the top left of the dies, that is the Welcome Fall collection. There is a um, bucket with some pumpkins, some leaves, some apples. And then on the top right is the Scare a Crow collection that you can make a scarecrow. Bottom left is the wagon full of fall that has a wagon that you can put some pumpkins and some squash and leaves and flowers in. And then on the bottom right is the fall greetings stamp set. Now I'm going to be making cards with the three die sets. However, I don't have the fall greeting stamp set to show you, so you can see the picture there. There are some fun greetings, happy fall. Happy Harvest, Autumn Blessings, Love Fall, Most of All, Thankful for Your Friendship, Hey There Pumpkin, and many more. So instead of using this stamp set for my cards, I will be bringing in a different stamp set from Spellbinders to use on my cards, which I'll show you as we get to that point in the video. And I will also link all of these products down below in case you're interested in any of these products. So I will be making two cards with these products today. But first I want to show you these die sets up close. So this one is the Scare a Crow die set. So you have the Scarecrow's body and you have a shirt and you have the pants. There's also a pumpkin in this set. You also have a crow. There's also some corn stalks. And then this one is the Welcome Fall die set. So you have this bucket. There's also some more pumpkins and there are some leaves. You also have a die to make a wood sign, and then you have some apples. And then this final die set is wagon full of fall, so you have this large wagon. There are some more pumpkins, there's some wheels there. There are some leaves in this set, there's a squash. So I'm gonna go ahead and make two cards using these dies. I'm starting out with the Wagon Full of Fall set. I did die cut some leaves and I'm just putting some ink on the edges just to add some more definition to those leaves. So the green leaves, I added the olive color ink from Pink Fresh Studio. And then these red leaves, I'm adding Festive Berries Distress Ink. And then I also die cut the apple out of green and red cardstock. I end up only using the red apples, but I die cut it out of green as well because that die has another small die attached to it for the leaf. So I go ahead and add the green leaf to those apples, to the red apples. And then once I finish that, I will put some ink on the edges of those red apples just to add some more definition using the same Festive Berries Distress ink that I used on the leaves. And there is a hole in the apple, but I'll come back in at the end and add a little white piece of cardstock to fill that in. So here's a squash that I die cut out, and I'm just adding the stem to that that I die cut out of some brown cardstock. And here's another stem, and I'm gonna add that to the pumpkin. I did die cut a couple of the pumpkins out of orange cardstock, and I'll add the stems to those. And I'm just going to take some orange ink. This is the orange spice ink from scrapbook.com, and I'm just gonna add some ink to add some definition to those pumpkins. I also die cut some of the hay, and I'm inking up the edges with the gathered twig distress ink. And I die cut some of the flowers out of some yellow cardstock and the centers out of some brown cardstock. I'm adding the centers to the yellow flowers and then I will ink up the edges with some honeycomb scrapbook.com ink. And then I'm gonna come back in and I decided I wanna add another layer of flower underneath. So I go ahead and die cut another flower and add another flower underneath each of the ones I've already die cut. And next I'm going to work on the wagon. So the dies that you see here are what I've die cut. So the one on the bottom I die cut out of a lighter brown cardstock and the one on the top I die cut out of a darker brown. I am inking up the edges with the gathered twig distress ink to add some more definition. I also die cut the handle for the wagon 
and then I will glue these together. So I'm going to go ahead and add glue to the back of the lines for the wagon and then add it to the lighter piece of cardstock. And then I'm going to work on the wheels. So the wheels have a few dies. You have the dies for the actual wheel and then there's a die that you can use for the shadow part of the wheel, which I die cut out of the black and then the actual wheel is out of gray cardstock. So I'm adding the shadow to the wheels. I actually will bring in another wheel. Um, which I don't show here on camera, so I ended up doing three wheels. And I die cut the center piece out of black cardstock and I'll add that to the center. And I'm just going to add some gray ink to the edges for some more definition. This is the Metropolis ink from Pink Fresh Studio. And then I'll go ahead and add those wheels to the wagon. So part of the wheel is going to hang off the bottom, so I'm trying not to get glue on that bottom portion. And then here's the third wheel, which I'm going to tuck behind on the back right side of that wagon. So I am using a die from Spellbinders. This is the Candlewick Rectangles die, which I die cut the top layer here out of white and then the bottom layer out of some yellow cardstock. So the yellow will show through all of those little holes there on that white layer. So I'm going to add the white to the yellow and you can see all of those yellow triangles peeking through. So now I'm going to go ahead and start putting this card together. So I do need to add the handle to the wagon. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the little piece of the wagon and then attach the handle. I am going to be bringing in a stamp set and this is the Charming Pumpkins stamp set from Spellbinders. It's new. It's part of their Fall Traditions collection which I will be making a card with coming soon and I am going to be using a stamp from that set just because I don't have the stamp set that goes with this Happy Harvest collection. So I'm just placing the wagon. I haven't glued it down yet. Just put it there for placement so I know where to put my stamp. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp out the greeting fall blessings in some black ink. And now I'm ready to put my wagon onto my card front. And notice when I'm gluing it down, I'm putting glue on all the parts of that wagon except the bottom thin line and that's because I want to be able to tuck my pumpkins and all my um, die cuts inside of there. So here I'm just putting a piece of scrap paper through here just to make sure that I can still get my pumpkins and all of my die cuts in there. So you want to be able to keep that not glued down to the card. So here I'm just going to start filling my wagon. So I've got some pumpkins, my flowers, my leaves, and then if you wanted to make sure that you didn't put glue all the way to the top edge of the lines inside the wagon, if you wanted to put some hay in there, just be mindful of that. So here's my squash and notice the squash has some cutouts. I will come back in when I glue everything in here and I will fill it in with the pieces that came out of that piece of squash. I didn't want the white showing through. I wanted it to be all yellow. So when I'm adding glue, I'm starting with the back of all of those die cut pieces and I'm laying them down or gluing them down from the back forward or from the back to the top just because the top pieces will then be layered on those pieces in the back. So I want to make sure all those pieces in the black are glued down before I start gluing down the front pieces. So here's where I'm tucking in those pieces that came out of the squash. If you wanted to have your squash a different color on those pieces, you can always die cut it out again in a different color. That's simply up to you. So here I'm adding some leaves and I have my apple and now remember I am going to come back in in a little bit and I'm going to fill that center cut out there of the apple with just some white cardstock. So here I'm just going to add some glue to the hay. And I am going to have a flower and some hay and an apple there on the bottom of the card so that it so that it's out of the wagon. So I add a flower and an apple there and I do snip off the bottom of this piece of hay just so that I can tuck it in a little bit more into the wagon. 
and then here's where I come in and add some glue to that hole in the apple. Just die cut that apple again out of some white cardstock and just filling it in white. I didn't want that squash, that yellow and that squash to show up behind the apple, so I'm making sure I fill that in with white. And I'm going to do the same thing on the apple there at the bottom right. Just fill that in with some white cardstock. And then I'm going to glue this down to an A2 size white card base that measures four and a quarter by five and a half. I did realize I had some of these small leaves that I never added to this wagon. So I'm going to go ahead and just tuck some of these leaves in, and just add a few of them here rather than wasting those die cut pieces. And then I just finish up by adding a few red epoxy dots to the front of this card. And that completes this first card. So moving on to my second card, I'm going to be using two die sets. I am going to be using the Scare a Crow, which is what you see me working with here. And I'm also going to be bringing in the Welcome Fall die set later on. So I'm going to incorporate two die sets into this one card. So first I'm going to show you how we put this Scarecrow together. I did die cut the Scarecrow's body just out of some cream cardstock and I did ink up his face with some scattered straw distress ink just to add some definition to his face. I die cut his eyes out of some gray cardstock and the nose out of pink cardstock and you saw me place them there. And then I have the shirt die cut out of some green cardstock. I did ink up the edges of that with scrapbook.com's succulent ink. And then I have the straw pieces for the belt and I add that to the shirt. And then I have the pants die cut out of some dark red cardstock and just inking the edges of that as well as the collar. And I die cut the patches for his clothing out of some teal cardstock and I'm going to add those. Now you can tell where they're added because there's some embossed lines on the pants. And this particular piece right here on the edge of his pants was a, was a curved piece. And I didn't see any of the curved pieces on the patches that I die cut out. So I just assumed that that little piece piece that I added to the left was one of the patches. Well, come to find out when I'm doing my pumpkins at the end that that piece that I put on there was actually a stem for the pumpkin. So I didn't realize it at the time. I actually thought it went with those pants, but nevertheless, I went with it for now because I didn't know at the time that I was doing this. And later on, you'll see me come back and fix it and just put a regular rectangle patch in that spot. So the hat I did ink up with some orange ink and I'm just adding some of the um, pieces to the hat. And then here are the pieces of hay that I die cut out of yellow and I'm just adding those to each of the sleeves. I'm also going to add those to the bottom of the legs in the pants. And then I also die cut two more and that's going to be for the hair. So before I add that for the hair, I will be adding the hat to the head of the scarecrow. And then I'll be able to tuck the pieces of hay underneath the hat. So I add one there on the right side and I will add one on the left. And then I will also come back in and just snip off some of the pieces of the hay that are extending past the hat. So I'm just snipping off some of that yellow there. And then I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to add some pink to the cheeks just to give this little scarecrow some color on his face. So now I'm going to dress my little scarecrow. I'm going to add the shirt to his body and then I should have added the pants first, but I just um, tuck those underneath that shirt because you want that shirt overlapping the pants. And then I'm gonna add the collar there to the top of the neck. And there's my scarecrow. All right, so now I'm gonna be working on the bucket. This bucket is from the Welcome Fall die set. So I die cut the inside piece out of some lighter brown and the outside piece out of some darker brown. Notice that I'm just putting glue on the bottom portion of that and then adding it to the light brown cardstock. So very similar to how we did the wagon in the first card. 
So I'm just leaving the top open because I'm going to want to stuff some pumpkins in there. So here's a piece of green cardstock that I'm just cutting down in a hill shape because I want to have look what looks like a hill or looks like grass at the bottom of my card layer. I am inking that up with some of the succulent scrapbook.com ink. And I'm going to add that to the bottom of this piece of pattern paper. So I am bringing in some pattern paper to use with this card. And this pattern paper is some old paper that I don't even believe is sold anymore. It's from an old Lawn Fawn paper pack, which is called Fall Fling. And it has some beautiful fall patterns in it. So I add the hillside border to the bottom of that layer and that layer is three and one quarter by four and a half and I'm going to bring in a stamp from the same charming pumpkin stamp set that I used in the previous card and notice that I just am taking part of that stamp and it's the word grateful I think the stamp says grateful for you but I just added some washi tape to mask off the last two words in that stamp and then I took the washi tape off after I inked the stamp up and then stamped that down because I didn't have room for the entire length of the stamp I only had room for the word grateful so that's why I masked off the rest of that stamp and then I add that to another piece of pattern paper this pattern paper is four and a quarter by five and a half and that is from an old Echo Park collection called Fall is in the Air so it, I don't even think that they sell that anymore but that's where that paper come, came from. So now I'm going to add the scarecrow. I'm just kind of placing everything just to see where I want it. So there is in that scarecrow die set, there are these wood pieces that you would add for the back of the arms to make it look like he's hooked onto that wood. And then you also have the vertical piece of wood. It's, it's actually the same die, you just die cut it twice. So I'm going to go ahead and position that wood where I want it and I'm going to make sure that it's tucked behind that basket. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. I wanted him kind of at a slant. I didn't want him so straight so that's why you see him slanted. That was purposeful. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the basket there and add the scarecrow. So I will be putting some pumpkins inside that basket. The Welcome Fall die set also has some apples. So if you wanted to add apples in there, you can do that as well. But I'm just going to be using the pumpkins in the set. And then I have the corn stalks I die cut out of two different color greens. So I have a few in the darker green and a few in the lighter green. I'm going to add those and tuck them behind that hillside border that I put there at the bottom of the card layer. I also die cut the corn and we're going to add the corn pieces to the top of those stalks. So the corn stalks are part of the scarecrow die set so they do come with the scarecrow. And then that basket with the pumpkins and it also has some apples and there's also some leaves that come with that particular die set. So next I'm going to go ahead and add the tops for my pumpkins. So I go ahead and add the brown stems to all of those pumpkins. I also die cut some of the leaves and the leaves in this die set are smaller than the ones in the first card that I made with the wagon and I did die cut some out of red and yellow cardstock. And then I'll go ahead and add the pumpkins. Now one of those pumpkins is from the Scare a Crow die set. It's the wider one. And then the more narrow one is from the um, Welcome Fall die set. So I wanted to have two different sizes there. And then I add some of the leaves in the basket as well, as well as on the ground and add another pumpkin there on the ground. So here's where I realized that I need to remove this patch that was not supposed to be a patch in the first place and then I just add a rectangle to the side of the pants. <laughs> so I go ahead and add that and then I'm going to add that to an A2 size card base and that's going to complete this card. So once again I will have all of the supplies linked down in the description box so if you're interested in any of these products please check the description box for those links and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more card making tutorials. Thanks for watching and have a great day everyone. Bye-bye.